people are very hopeless right now. I mean, some people have even decided that Oof, everyone is dying, I'm going to die anyway, so why bother? The government is not doing anything about it, so why bother? Let me just live my life, have AIDS if I have AIDS. And then they, they just, they are hopeless, very hopeless. As we were coming into the cemetery, I was shocked myself because I was just here last week and the um, person we were burying was somewhere over here. I'm not sure where. I'm surprised to see all of these within the space of one week. So I'm, I'm, I'm speechless, I'm shocked. I can't believe there's so many people they've buried just after a week. And there's another funeral coming in just now. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm, I even want to cry now, I'm really shocked. Mm. And it is HIV and AIDS, no matter how we deny it, because we tend to be still denying it, it is AIDS. The counseling services that are offered now in clinics I'm sure they'll be helping a lot of people because they have already started helping a lot of people, especially in terms of psychologically. Okay. They can now deal with uh, being HIV positive. They know the resource system. They know where to get help. They know where to get treatment. Maybe alcohol. Let's go back. Like they treat me as if I'm also positive. Somewhere, somehow, like I'm also positive, you see, even though it wasn't like that. So they helped me a lot to change my life, to change me, to change my lifestyle too, so that I could be effective to, to, to people I'm talking to. Try and use condoms or something. Doing the course for me, I knew that I was going to benefit somewhere, somehow, because, you know, it's an issue that we can't run away from. It's affecting us. If you're not infected, you're affected. I think with these projects, it's going to help to, to, for people to know that there is still hope. The healthcare workers are still needed in our communities. Counselors like you, sponsored for counselors, also healthcare workers who would work in the communities and go house to house taking care of those people and doing whatever they can do to make those people feel loved. Now that there is counselors in the clinics, more and more people are coming to test for HIV. More and more people are disclosing their statuses in communities. The more education they get, the more assurance they get, they go out there and tell people that they're HIV positive. And then in turn, people realize that this thing is really here.